because your Quran, not me, says that Allah has hands. Your Quran, not me, says that Allah has a shin. Your Quran, not me, says that Allah has speech. But it does not mean Allah because, because, because that's Hold on. Sorry. No, go ahead. So when you're commanded to worship Allah, is that Allah in his totality or just some of Allah? No, but you see Allah also says in the Quran there are certain verses that are clear and there are certain verses that are a bit ambiguous. Right. And this one seems to be a bit ambiguous. So what okay. can I say to you is this? You're the talking question... about Surah 2, Ayah 3, aren't you? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you is this, yeah? I don't know if that's the Surah. It but is. What I'm, what I'm trying to say I'm going to show you. Yeah? What I'm trying to say to you is this, yeah? That Okay, worshipping Allah or worshipping a speech requires a method. What is the method? Following the speech. Following the speech Follow is worship. Because remember, in Quran and in, in Islam, worship is very comprehensive. Yes. Sleeping with your wife is worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving a charity is worship. Applying perfume is worship. Smiling. You know? Smiling is worship. So would you then say, oh, by smiling, do you worship smiling? No, we don't. We follow the speech. No, 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 no. You've, you've, you've confused. You've conflated I mean, categories there. I'm, I'm not confusing it. I'm. You've to, conflated no, categories. No, I'm not conflating. What I'm saying to you is that if you ask me, do you worship the speech? The way I worship the speech or worship Allah is by following it. That's the methodology. That's okay. the methodology to it. Can we can we come to this verse about the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses? So if you want to. Right, hold on one second. I thought it was Surah 2, Ayah 4, but this maybe I'm wrong. Yes. Oh, do you want to um, uh, Hamad and... Uh, so, because here's a problem. Ambiguous verses and... Uh, or is it 3-4? You know the ayat, there's the ayat, there are verses who are ambiguous and uh, verses who are uh, clear. Ah, sorry, it's seven. Oh, you found it, yeah? I think so. Yeah, okay, so it's Surah 3, Ayah 7, okay? Now, and now I'm going to show you another problem in your religion, okay? I accept that the Quran establishes two categories of verses. Category 1, ambiguous verses. Category 2, unambiguous verses. I accept that, I am not disputing it. Here's my challenge to you. You have good ones. Show me in the Quran where the Quran defines for you what are the ambiguous verses and the unambiguous verses. So I'm not asking you to show me that it gives you those two categories. I accept it. I'm asking you to show me where it defines those two categories for you, as in what are ambiguous verses and what are unambiguous verses? What constitutes them? The way I've always understood From the Quran, yeah. not your opinion. Yeah, but uh, why does it have to show that, first of all? Why does it have to? Great question. I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. So in Surah, Here's, here, the question was a fair one. The answer, I think you will see, is also fair. Because that seems, that ayat seems very open, uh, open uh, ending. I am, I'm going to show you, bro. Yeah. I'm going to show you why yeah, it should. It just says, look, there, it's going to be verses. I'm going to, I'm going to show you. Right. Do you want to hear my answer or not? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. So the question is. Oh, wait. Okay. It's all right. I got to find the ayat. The, uh, so here it is. I'm just going to wait for them to finish talking. Okay. So remember his question. I said, I accept the Quran gives me two categories, ambiguous verses and unambiguous verses. And then I asked him, where does the Quran define for you what constitutes the ambiguous and what constitutes the unambiguous? And his answer, his question was, why does it have to? But there's Here's actually, why. There's actually an explanation. Go ahead. What? I was just recapping. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I was just recapping. So now I'm going to answer his question. And here's why it should. Because in Surah 12, Ayah 111, the Quran states this. Indeed, in their stories, there is a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a forged statement, confirmation of uh, which were before it and other scriptures. Sorry, that's, that's in the, there's so many flipping brackets. And a de here we go. And a detailed explanation of everything. Now, bear in mind, guys, the Quran says to me, not to you three, it says, consider the Quran, and if it were from any other than Allah, I would be able to find contradictions. So, here's the contradiction. 
The Quran says it is a detailed explanation of everything. A detailed explanation of everything. Now let's not strawman the Quran. What's that verse? What's that verse? Let's not strawman the Quran. I'm not saying that the Quran has to tell me Einstein's physics of relativity. Okay. But what I am saying is if the Quran touches upon a topic, the Quran should explain the topic. Yeah. So, the Quran touches upon a topic, the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses. Yeah, I, I remember it. So now show me in the Quran where it defines and constitutes yeah. what's the ambiguous yeah. and the unambiguous. So in the ayat actually, when you when you read further, it says actually, uh, so the, the uh, you find that the people who tend to gravitate towards the ambiguous verses are the ones who... Can I have the ayat? Can I have the ayat? Because it says, it says actually after, it just explains, it gives a criteria if you like. It's in the same ayat, it's in 3-7. Yeah, 3-7. Seven. Seven. It's in 3-7, it yeah. says it right here. Yeah. So it's for those whose hearts were a deviation, yeah. 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 they follow that which is not entirely clear thereof, yeah. seeking fitna, yeah. for it is hidden, oh that's brackets again I think, no, yeah. no. Yeah. And seeking for its hidden meanings, yeah. but none knows its hidden meaning save Allah. Yeah. Right, hold on one second. Okay. I agree with you that there are ambiguous and unambiguous verses. But that is not a definition of what an ambiguous verse is. Well, it's telling you that there are certain people, and we know this amongst us Muslims. Yeah. Well, we know this, because yeah. there are certain people, they go to one ayat, it's not ambiguous, but they just want to prove their point. No, no, it. you say it's not ambiguous. No, 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 I'm saying in the Islamic discourse, intellectual, yeah. There has been cases, many people who in, engage with Islam will know this. There are certain groups amongst Islam who like to go to particular verses. Name yeah. me one. The, the hand one, for example. No, no, no. Name me uh, the groups. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Mutazilites, the Asharis. No, you say that Mutazilites. Like, see, here's the thing, bro, right? All right, you mentioned the Asharis. Here's an Ashari, yeah. right? So you're saying he's a deviant. No, I'm not saying he's a deviant. I'm talking about. Wait, the Quran says that, though. Listen. So for those who in, sorry, so as for those in whose hearts there is a deviation. Yeah. If there is a deviation, are you not a deviant? No, but the verse... Oh, the, so the Quran is wrong. The, but you breaking up the verses. So, so he doesn't have deviation I, in his heart. No, but it also says, prior to that, it says there are uh, uh, clear and ambiguous ones. Yeah. And what is basically saying to you is that there are disputes, there will be disputes amongst certain verses. This, I'm, I'm not saying that it has to be deviancy because also, is there not... No, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, sorry, go on. Let, sorry, let you finish, yeah. but then I'll come back. Because there's also a verse where it says, uh, and there are biggest and unclear verses, but there's only a few people who understand them, right? There's only... No, no, God only understands. It says God only, yeah. in the Quran. That's the verse yeah. in there. Yes, says, that's what it says. Is there not a verse that says and clear and the same verse? Yeah, it's the same yeah. verse. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. And, and, you, and you will find that there's a, right. But here, here's the problem. People. Here's the so problem. If I take the whole ayat in its yeah. entirety, the way I'm understanding the ayat is that Allah is telling us, look, there's going to be verses where you're going to have disputes, and one criteria. It's not the entire, the only criteria. One criteria you find that some people tend to gravitate towards certain ayats. However. The true meaning of these ayats is only with a smoke. Okay, so here's here's what you said. Here's what you said. I asked you to define for me from the Quran what constitutes the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses. That was my question. And you have not done that, but what you did say, no, I didn't interrupt, well, I did yeah. interrupt you, but not for very long. But what you did was you say, well, the Quran doesn't define it, but it says who will gravitate towards them. Right? And then you said, and, and then we quoted the verse, and it says that those who have a, a deviation in their heart, yeah. he's a, an Ashari, right? And when I said, well, he's a deviant, you said no. So you're now arguing with your Quran. I'm not arguing, I'm just Are saying... the Ashari deviants? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say that. But the Quran, no, but the, the Quran yeah, yeah. says that the, the Ashari deny the reality of the face the and the shape. The Quran has said that. They don't deny that, by the way. They, they do deny them as realities. They say they're metaphors. Oh, yeah. 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 So they're not realities in and of themselves. They don't... Uh, they are metaphors to something else. What? God's actions. Yeah, they don't... They affirm it, but they don't describe it like some... Uh, 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 the, the, Ashari, the Ashari position is actually much closer to the Christian position than the Salafi position. Yeah. Because all of the, the descriptions uh, of God's body parts that we find in the Old Testament, we, we interpret them as metaphors of God's actions. Yeah. 
and that's what the Ashari do with the yeah. face. Yeah. But that's not what a Salafi is doing. Yeah. Now, if you're saying that those who gravitate to the unambiguous verses, yeah, right, and you, not me, yeah. you listed the Ashari next to the Mutazilites. No. You, you asked, did. No, you asked me, you asked me. I asked you to name groups no. that oh. did that, and no. you said no. Mutazilite no, no, and no, no, no. Ashari. So you must be saying that the Ashari are like the Mutazilites, they are deviants. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, all I'm saying... On the Mutazilite deviant. When you asked me uh, where, remember I started with giving you examples of ayats. I said the ayat about the hands. Right. right? Did I not say that? Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I said that is because I've understood that you were saying to me, name me examples of ayats, but you meant name me groups. So, so I misunderstood. What, what, you there. Fair enough. Honest mistake. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, yeah. and you, you still haven't done it yet, yeah. is the Quran is claiming to be a clear explanation of everything. Yeah. Now let's be fair to the Quran. I can't expect the Quran to tell me everything in history and everything in the cosmos, because it would be a book nay big. Was but one yet? second, no. one second. But it would be fair of me to expect the Quran to explain the things that the Quran talks about. What, what verse is it? Oh gosh, bro, it is in Surah 13, <laughs> Yeah. 111 and it says right there and a detailed explanation of everything that's what it says i've already checked the arabic it does say everything yeah, no, that's no, an no, accurate no, translation now the point is guys right i'm going to be fair to the quran i'm not asking it to explain einstein's theory of relativity or why me and you are all stood here talking because that could also come into everything that's unfair what i'm saying is everything that the quran talks about the quran should explain that's what I'm saying. Everything the Quran talks about, it should explain because it says, and a detailed explanation of everything, and a guide and a mercy for the people who believe. So the Quran has said to you that there's ambiguous verses and unambiguous verses. So where does the Quran tell you what are the ambiguous verses and what are the unambiguous verses? Because if it doesn't, then it is not a detailed explanation of everything and a guide of mercy for the people who believe. The irony, the irony is that the verse itself is very ambiguous, isn't it? But, uh, it's a contradiction. It's a contradiction within your Quran. I don't think it is, but... Um, so, okay, you say it's not a contradiction, now explain to me why it isn't. Because I would like to read the verse in its entirety that you... Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll hold my Quran. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry. It's 111, this one. Yeah, 111. Do you want the Arabic as well? Yeah. The Arabic is there. Yeah. See, the Quran claims, the Quran challenges me, not you. It says for me to find a contradiction. I found a contradiction. Prove me wrong. But you know, your Quran is very confusing. <laughs> Thank you. So it's not a clear guidance. I know, believe that. It's in English. I and chat with somebody who's really a Quran is uh, expert. I keep so, trying, but they're all running away. So if I told you. Ali Dawa ran away. Well, Ali Dawa. <laughs> Ali Dawa ran away. Mansour ran away. Shamsi runs, runs away. What's the best answer you got for that? Is it the creation of, of the universe? Is it a creation, uh, contradiction as well? What, sorry? This is Rad, right? Yes, it's a Rad. So, no, 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 the, the, no. The, 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 there is contradictions no, about the description. Man, the creation of man. I wouldn't say that that's a contradiction, no. So I say some person it's say out of nothing and it it's surah 12 111 12. Clay. i'm on 13. no worries don't yeah, yeah i made the same mistake actually because this, this is yeah it's it's because yeah. because it, it's yeah. where 12 begins yeah. 13 begins yeah 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 what sorry the human being the human being okay. what about the human being yes 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 the quran yeah. yeah the quran the quran has contradictory descriptions of the creation of man yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely Absolutely it does. One, one part of the Quran says he made us out of water, one okay. part he made us out of a drop of semen. Yeah. That in itself is just biologically wrong, yeah. you know, creation out of semen. Perhaps not for laymen, like for us, like laymen that don't understand the, the true meaning of the Quran. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps, like, what, are the, what is your best explanation you've had for that from so far, who actually knows the scripture? So far, no one has yet been able to explain it today. I've asked, I've asked one, two, three, is it three or four? Yeah. Four Dawa people. I, I, I've asked four Dawa people, so far no one's been able to explain it. My point to you is, if, if the, Quran, the Quran gives me a challenge to find a contradiction, I found a contradiction. Now, unless the Muslims can explain to me why my logic is wrong and it isn't a contradiction, then the Quran is not true. But surely an answer must be in that Quran somewhere. I would expect that, and that's what I'm looking for. 
and I've asked Muslims and they don't seem to be able to find a verse. Well, they're all laymen here. No, no, you know, it's a very difficult book. You bring me a scholar, I'll ask him the same question. Uh, but archaic language. Do you agree that if I, you cannot find me an explanation, then currently, to, at least to my knowledge, I'm justified in saying there's a contradiction? We've actually, there is an answer in the Quran, must be. It's just I, that we just I, simply I've, don't I've, know. I've, we just read the whole thing. Yeah. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, so he's looking for the Tasfir as well. That's a yeah. complex book, yeah. yeah. What? When do your research. Uh, brother, yeah, but, yeah. But, brother. You see, but you know any text, I could go to the Bible, any text uh, though, for uh, ancient, it's very difficult to understand that. Know yeah. you know, okay, you go back and okay. Are you a Muslim yourself, sir? Uh, yeah. 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 Can, I, I'm, I'm going to go, but I appreciate the fact that you've listened and that you've listened intently. Yeah. And, and, and a very I, interesting uh, Certainly. And, and I want to give you a gift. This is for you. Yeah. This is my gift to you. Yeah, I respect you. I'll Please. accept it. Yeah. Have you got, I know you've got a Bible, haven't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Can I read I it? Do you actually read it? <laughs> um, yes, I have been recently. Do you, do you read it I've without recently. just trying to find an argument no, against I Christianity? Read it with admiration at times. Okay, go on. Look at this. Which surah and Quran? Uh, so this is a surah uh, 9 and 11. So 9 11, and right? one second. Surah 9. I promise you, I can count, so I do know that 9 11 comes before 12 11. Yeah. 1 1. You know. Um, I know you guys think I can't count. But no, I can. no, listen, I'm, I don't really have much history with you, so I'm very, I'm trying to be as neutral as, as possible. And I appreciate it. I genuinely no, do. No, 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 no matter how hard we try, let me tell you something. The Quran is a, it's a very, um, because it's from, from, the, from high power, from the intelligent designer, right? So you can, you can okay. understand, it's going to be a very just the complex being. In English. Surah, so Even in Arabic, so I know Arabic, but I can't understand it. Like so Surah, Surah 9-11, what yeah. got... Okay, so uh, maybe if, even if I go one before, yeah. How many signs is there in the heavens and the earth? Wait, am I in the right place? Go, go back to start from uh, five to seven. Hundred, uh, five, uh, hundred, seven. Uh, five, what? So nine, seven. Surah nine, ayah seven. Oh no, no, we're talking about the one that you brought. Do you know the verse about uh, the clear, the Quran being clear? Oh, so, so Surah twelve. Si Surah 12? Surah 12. And then start from 105. And okay. Then we, and, then we, and then I read down. Right, okay. Yeah. Let's... Well, Ali, nice to see you right. praying though, I have to say, Ali. Nice okay. to see you praying then. Nice to see you praying. Surah 12. What, 100 and... 105. Yeah, 105. Yeah, I know, I know. And you, are you... 105, yeah. okay. 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 Can we can we read this quickly? And yeah. how many? Uh, how many? I'll do the reading, and okay. you can hear me read it. Okay. And how many a sign in the heavens and the earth they pass by while they are averse therefrom? And most of them believe not in Allah, except that they attribute partners unto Him. Do they then feel secure from coming against them of the covering veil of the torment of Allah, or of the coming against them of the hour all of the sudden while they perceive it not? Say. This is my way. I invite unto I, I invite unto Allah with sure knowledge. I and whoever follows me. Sorry, I'm just skipping the brackets. Yeah. Sure. And glorified and exalted is Allah. And I am not of the musharikin. Uh, oh no, that's still a bracket. Any but them men unto whom we revealed from among the people of the townships, yeah. have they not travelled in the land and seen yeah. what was at the end of those who were before them? Mm. And verily the home of the hereafter is the best of those who fear Allah and obey Him. Mm. <laughs> Just skipping the brackets. Yeah, sure. Do you not then understand? Bracket. Until when the messenger gave up hope and thought that they were denied, then came to them our help, and whoever we willed were rescued, and our punishment cannot be warded off from the people who are marjimum. Indeed, in their stories there is a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a forged statement, but a confirmation of which were before it, bracket, and a detailed explanation of everything and a guide and a mercy for the people who believe. Yeah. Right. So, what, what, How does what, that, what do you make of, make of that? So, what, what, what that's saying to me is that, that the Quran is meant to be a warning. Yeah. Okay? And it's a warning against the unbeliever yeah. of the, the coming judgment of Allah. Okay. And that the, the judgment of Allah cannot be escaped. Yeah. It's inevitable. 
It is that, that juggernaut coming down the track that you can't get away from. Yeah. And that they have some stories that they have, yeah. which have some good lessons in them. Yeah. But those stories um, are not the Quran. And the Quran isn't a made, the Quran isn't a forged story. So yeah. the people were accusing Muhammad of making up a story yeah. that they had heard before yeah. from someone else. Yeah which actually historically is true. We've, we see the evidence for that in the Talmuds and in the, sure. the Gnostic Gospel, uh, the infancy Gnostic Gospel. Um, but the, the Quran is not forged and it is an, a clear explanation of everything and a guidance to mankind. Yeah. So that's what I understand by that. So I would expect the Quran to guide you in saying what is the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses. And you so far have not yet been able to do that. You've simply argued that people will be drawn to... But that's the what the Quran is saying, it's not... I'm exactly, arguing, exactly, arguing. but the point is, that doesn't define for me what the ambiguous and the unambiguous verses are. Maybe it's not su sufficient for you. Sufficient because you. because the groups the groups accuse one another of deviancy. Of course they will. That Ashari that left us earlier, he accuses Salafi of, of, of polytheism. He said it to me over there. Yeah, okay. Can I... No, the way I've understood it, uh, it's similarly to you, but um, I add more uh, flavor to it. So here, Allah SWT is clearly talking about, first of all, uh, incidences that took place uh, prior to the Quran. Yep. And those incidences are being confirmed. And when Allah says He will describe things in, its, in, 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 in detail, yep. then I, I think of incidences in the Quran where Allah describes those stories. For example, the story of uh, Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf alayhi salam story, and this is the only story, by the way, in the Quran that is described in a chronological order, yep. which, which you're aware of. The Quran does not really describe things in chronological order per se. So when Allah talks about the things that He will confirm and things that uh, He will explain in detail, are those things that whenever a story does come up, for example, the story of Abraham and his father, yep. it's, it's explained in detail. Yep. So that's why I understood it. Yep. But Muhammad and, um, and, and these, the, these ayat that are ambiguous are more verses to do uh, with um, the, of metaphysical, of metaphysical, metaphysical nature. And hear me clearly. Yeah. What I'm saying is you have no justification for saying that the, uh, ambigu uh, the, the ambiguous verses are those verses. Why? But, uh, the word, yeah. Okay. okay, I'll leave it there. Next week. It was lovely speaking to you. Thank you. Click up that Bible, read it. Come and ask I, me questions about I it, do, bro. I do, I yeah. do. And, and you know, I, I, the thing is with me, which is a bit... The really thing is that when I read the Bible, I don't read the Bible to uh, find mistakes in it. I find I read the Bible to find connections in it. Um, to Islam. Considering the company you keep, I struggle to believe that. But that might be me being harsh. We, yeah. That might be me being harsh. Anyway, it's nice talking to you. Look after yourself. Okay, so let's let's do it. Uh, oh, are we done? <laughs> Sammy, <laughs> Sammy, be nice. Sammy, 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 if, if you would like to have a debate, let's do it next week. Did you find the vid? Yes, I did. Yes, you just weren't here for it. What? Can we have a two minute chat? Two minute chat, absolutely. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, go, go, go. Two minute chat. Just go give on. me a reference. Off camera, give me a Sorry? Off camera. Off camera. Yeah. Off camera. Okay. Off camera. Off camera. So do, do that quick wrap up. Sammy, let, let him do a wrap up. No, no, no. I want only no, to, no, give no. Me, to give me the verse. No, give me the no, verse. no. Give me the reference. No. <laughs> Did you like So, it? what's your. What's your yeah, so my, uh, my chat is. Um, off camera, off camera. Yeah. Is that, uh, you know, um, yeah, the, uh, well, I know this. Uh, it yeah. It's off camera, yeah? It is, uh, turn out, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, there's massive holes. Holes. Oh, no, that's, that's not mine. That's mine. Yeah. Yeah.